On January 16, 1942, a plane crashed in Las Vegas shortly after takeoff. Tragically, none of the passengers survived. Among them was 33-year-old Carol Lombard. Lombard was an actress during Hollywood's golden era. She was best known for her work in many screwball comedies. She was also known for her marriage to actor Clark Gable. The two of them were known as one of the industry's favorite couples. Decades after her death, we still talk about Carol Lombard. She'll always be remembered as one of our country's best actresses. But there's also a lot of mystery surrounding the tragic plane crash that killed her and 21 others. Carol Lombard left her Midwestern upbringing in Fort Wayne, Indiana at age 7 to head to the Hollywood Hills. By age 9, she was acting in westerns. She had a prolific career in both silent films and sound films. Some of her best-known work during the early part of her career included Hearts and Spurs, High Voltage, From Hell to Heaven, and The Eagle and the Hawk. Many of her earliest films are now considered to be quote-unquote lost, meaning no surviving print exists. Carol's career never seemed to slow down. She worked on several films and immediately became one of Hollywood's most popular actresses. In the 30s, she became a regular in some of the era's best-known screwball comedies. These included My Man Godfrey, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Nothing Sacred, and Fools for Scandal. To this day, she remains an influence on many female actors who wish to venture into comic acting. She also developed a reputation for her generosity, kindness, throwing lavish parties, and her marriage to actor William Powell. Before we tell you more about Carol Lombard and her incredible life, please give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Apart from her talent as a gifted actress, Carol Lombard later became known for her marriage to Clark Gable. She divorced William Powell in 1933, two years after her marriage to him. She would later state she and Powell were incompatible, though they remained great friends until her death. It was shortly after her divorce that Carol became successful in screwball comedies. One of her first successful films was in No Man of Her Own. Her co-star was Clark Gable, who was also making his name in screwball comedies and had become a major Hollywood star. This collaboration began their romance, and they eventually got married in 1939, at the height of Gable's success with Gone with the Wind. They were now one of Hollywood's most famous and beloved couples. Carol was in her early 30s and showed no sign of slowing. She continued to act in a variety of films, with screwball comedies being her main forte. While 1939 may have been a great year for both Carol and Clark, it was also the start of the Second World War. Carol decided she wanted to play her part in helping the U.S. Army and the Allies fight the Nazis. She was a staunch supporter of Franklin Roosevelt, and she raised her hand to help out the Army in any way possible. She was among the first Hollywood stars to play a part in helping the Army's efforts during the war. She was given the responsibility of selling defense bonds. Clark Gable was in charge of assigning wartime jobs to other Hollywood stars. On January 16, 1942, Carol was going to fly to Indianapolis to deliver war bonds. She and 21 other passengers had left Albuquerque and had a layover in Las Vegas. Then, shortly after the plane took off, it crashed into Mount Potosi. Carol and her fellow passengers all died. As soon as he learned about the tragic plane crash, Clark traveled to Las Vegas to collect her body. Once the news became public, it became a tragedy for Hollywood and the country as a whole. Americans knew not only of Carol's incredible talents, but also her patriotism. Americans felt they had not only lost a great entertainer, but a great fellow citizen. Tributes and condolences poured in from Hollywood and the general public. It was one of the most tragic events to happen in Hollywood, and the fact that she was only 33 years old made it even sadder. It was also sad that Clark Gable had lost his wife. The talent of Carol Lombard and the relationship between her and Clark Gable continues to impress fans to this day. Decades after her death, Carol remains an icon of Hollywood. Newer generations will likely watch Carol Lombard's films and she'll continue to be discussed as one of Hollywood's best actresses. Her patriotism and service to the U.S. will also never be forgotten. Today, many Hollywood stars may portray war heroes on the screen, but Carol Lombard was part of a generation that served their country during times of war. She understood the American dream and the Hollywood dream. No matter how big a star she became, she never forgot her down-to-earth Midwestern roots. She was known to show kindness to her co-stars and to the crew of every film she worked on. She shunned the pretentiousness and snobbery that was often associated with major film stars. 
She was also one of Hollywood's highest paid actresses at the time, earning around $465,000 from her work in film and radio. She was also known at one point to be the best dressed woman in Hollywood. She was known for her commitment to her husband, Clark Gable. After their marriage, she consistently turned down acting roles if they didn't coincide with his work schedule. When she wasn't working, she wanted to make sure she spent as much time with her husband as possible. When they weren't working, they'd spend much of their time on their 20-acre farm in Encino, California. After her passing, the Treasury Department referred to her as a patriot who died for her country. President Franklin Roosevelt also expressed his condolences for her passing. The plane crash that killed Carol Lombard and 21 others did strike a chord with the people of Las Vegas, which was still a sleepy town in those days. People wanted to know why the plane ended up crashing. Much of the speculation was surrounding the pilot. Prior to leaving Albuquerque, a new flight crew came on board. This was led by Captain Wayne Williams, who was accompanied by one co-pilot and one flight attendant. Fifteen soldiers got on board, and the only civilians were an army wife named Lois Hamilton and Carol Lombard and a few of her compatriots. It's believed the co-pilot unknowingly was flying towards Mount Potosi. The light was low as beacons were turned off, out of fear that Japanese warplanes might be able to easily attack the west coast. There's also mystery as to why the crew didn't use all the navigation devices that were available. The plane crash went from being a tragedy to a scandal. And for many, the unsolved mystery is what keeps it a scandal. There was even speculation as to why Carol was so eager to fly. Though her marriage to Clark Gable seemed idyllic, there were rumors the marriage was in trouble. There was also rumors Clark was having a relationship with Lana Turner. But for most of us, it's one of the great tragedies for Hollywood and for America. Perhaps the best way we can remember Carol Lombard is to sit back and enjoy one of her many movies. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you a fan of Carol Lombard? Do you think newer generations know about her life and career? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.